I'm Dave Casper. Our guest today is Dr. Mark Adams, prosthodontist from Denver, Colorado, and Vice President of Clinical Affairs from Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers. Mark, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me, David. I thought we'd spend a couple of minutes and talk about your very first dental implant case. Oh. Over the years, you've done, uh, I'm sure, thousands and thousands of implants, uh, very complicated treatment plans, but there had to be that one case that you decided, hey, I'm going to get started, I'm going to get started with this one. Do you, uh, do you remember? So I, I can tell you that, uh, I mean, you're really going to date me. This has been th 31 years I've been practicing, but I can tell you that uh, when we first started using implants, I had a patient come in who had a partial denture replacing her teeth on the lower left. And of course, I thought this was a great opportunity to get her out of that partial denture. So we placed two implants to make an implant bridge, right? And this was, uh, yes, and, and I'm not gonna use the name, but it was a basket implant. So I, I, <laughs> yeah, that, that really dates everything, right? Well, at the time, uh, and um, anybody who's a younger dentist, they're going to, they're not gonna believe this, but we actually cemented the abutments into the basket imp implant. Did Remember you have those to? Days? Did you have to cut the implant to the given length that you wanted to place it, or was it at least beyond? No, that? actually, these were pre-cut, so this was, oh, this was oh, really, wow. really high tech. Really had gotten yeah. high tech at that point. So, but we had to. We, we had a certain. It, it was a resin cement, and you the, you had the abutment, and it had a stem on it, and you mm -hmm. cemented this in to right. the implants. So you cemented in one, you cemented in another, and I put in the bridge. Wow. High tech, high done, no, no more partial denture, high fives all around, success, success, success. Several months later, the patient came in and uh, <clears throat> she had the bridge in her hand. Oh no. I thought, well, th this is no big deal. She, you know, but then I looked. The abutments were in the bridge and the stems, which were cemented in, were still in the implants. So the hole was sealed. Do you know how long it takes to drill? stems out of an implant with magnification and copious amounts of, of water? N no, actually. It, uh, it's a multi-day process, <laughs> multi-day process. We got them out, finally. Um, I had to... Uh, but I think according to the literature, those implants were successful. Well, um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, they, they actually were well integrated, that those implants weren't c coming out. One, one of the motivating factors to get those stems out was the fact that well, if we take those implants out, we don't know if we, we're going to have to do major bone grafting. This is going to be a nightmare. Well, what impact did that have on you in your diagnosing and treatment planning, the second implant case? How long did you wait? A, a big word immediately came to mind, retrievability. <laughs> and so as a prosthodontist, everything became screw retained for a long time. It was a very long time before I cemented anything. In fact, I would see cement in my left eye would start twitching a little bit. It was just, it was a long time before I cemented anything. And it's funny because if you look at the way we treat implants today, the vast majority of dentists cement in everything versus yes. screw retain. Absolutely. But those of us who are specialists, we're still screw guys and we love all the gadgets and all the screws and things At like least that. the abutments are screwed in now. But yes, at least we're at least screwing in abutments, you know. Yeah. But some of those same issues with cementation and the problems that excess cement around implants can cause are still with us 31 years later. Mm -hmm. So um, I love the screw. <laughs> well, we're glad you stuck with it and so is the profession. Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me.